Welcome to this Workday at UChicago training video on adding and editing emergency contacts in Workday. You will sign into Workday using your CNET ID. Please note that Firefox is the recommended browser for accessing Workday. You may also use Google Chrome or Safari. Internet Explorer will only work if you have IE9 or above. To update your emergency contacts, click on the Personal Information Worklet. Under the Change column, click on Emergency Contacts. If you have never entered emergency contacts in Workday, you will see an Add button. If you have already entered emergency contacts within Workday, you will see the Edit button. We will be demonstrating adding additional emergency contacts later in this video. Click on the Add button to enter an emergency contact. Under Primary Emergency Contact, click the Edit button to enter or change the contact's legal name. Click the Done button to close the legal name field. In the Relationship field, click the Edit button. Use the prompt to select or change a relationship. If you want to identify a preferred language, click the Edit button to select or change the contact's preferred language. To enter the address of your emergency contact, click on the plus icon. Primary address is not required. However, at least a phone number or an email address must be entered for your emergency contact. To add a primary phone number, click the plus icon. Use the drop-down icon to select the type of phone device. Next, enter in the area code in the corresponding row. Note the area code is entered on a separate line from the phone number. Enter the phone number in the phone number field. Click Done when you are finished. If you want to enter an email address, click on the plus icon and enter the email address for your contact. Once you have entered all of the contact information for your emergency contact, click Submit. Your emergency contact is now listed. Now, let's review a demonstration for adding an alternate emergency contact. To add an alternate emergency contact, click on the Personal Information Worklet. Under the Change column, click on Emergency Contacts. As you can see, the emergency contact that was previously entered is listed. To add an alternate, click on Edit. If you need to edit any information from your previously entered contact, simply click in the field you want to edit, make your changes, and click Save. To add an alternate contact, click on the plus icon. As you can see, you will enter contact information such as name, phone number, and email. In the Priority field, you can assign a numerical value that prioritizes the order of your emergency contacts. You can also indicate this as your primary by selecting the Mark as Primary checkbox. When you have finished entering the contact information, click Submit. You have submitted your emergency contact successfully. Click Done. Both emergency contacts are now listed. This concludes the Workday at UChicago training video for adding and editing emergency contacts. Thank you for using Workday.